More than 25 nations were represented in Ottawa at the 2011 North American Technology Demonstration. They came to see, and in some cases, experience the best in non-lethal weaponry. Nearly 1,100 attendees from 100 international industries displayed existing or ready-to-be fielded non-lethal technologies, which the Marine Corps has a lot of interest in. The past decade has seen a wide range of missions from peace support operations or non-combatant evacuations to higher intensity uh, combat counterinsurgency and terrorism. These operations have been conducted against a wide range of adversaries, often intermixed with civilian populations to complicate identification and targeting. So non-lethal weapons must be versatile and adaptable in their application. The gathering offered NATO communities the opportunity to understand the very latest options in the field of non-lethal weapons capabilities, such as the active denial system that's being tested by DOD. Currently, how do we fight wars? We, uh, we have people with lead lasers and they're told to engage people at, when they become dangerous. So what this allows us to do is well beyond small arms range. It allows us to find out who means harm and who is not a threat. So it gives us that sort of capability to, to see who is dangerous and who isn't. The active denial system uses technology that causes a reflex to heat similar to that of opening a hot oven. You want to get out of the way. This system, like several others, was put on display on the final day of the conference at one of the Canadian military's ranges. Certainly one of our goals here, uh, and one of my goals, is to make sure that uh, we provide an opportunity for individual countries to take a look at uh, what opportunities there are out there that uh, we may be able to acquire a capability that will assist our forces in accomplishing the missions that they're finding uh, globally. Reporting from Ottawa, Ontario, Canada, I'm Staff Sergeant Will Skelton.